Hello everyone, welcome to the Promo Comics where we talk everything graphic novels, manga, and comic related and we are here to do my November reading plans. Now, as y'all know from my vlogs, I've been doing an excellent job or I did an excellent job for the most part working through my October reading plans. I was very surprised that I read through as much material as I did. Granted, I did not get through everything, so I think what I'm going to do is roll some of that content over. So I just went back and watched my October reading plans, and apparently I read three out of the five manga selections. I read four out of the five comic selections and two out of the five graphic novels. So not bad, it's like nine out of 15-ish that I was able to complete. So I'm actually liking the five by five thing. Y'all know I typically do not do well with a TBR, but we actually, we, we did we did good. And so I think some of the stuff that I didn't get to in my October reading plans, I am gonna roll over and just kind of consider that stuff as stuff that I probably should finish up in October but I do have a new set of my 5x5x5. Five by five by five. So if you're new here you did not know I do a 5x5x5 five by five by five, which means I choose five comics, five graphic novels, and five manga that I want to potentially make it through throughout the month. October was a pretty busy month for me in general and so I just had a lot going on and so it was you know the fact that I got to as much as I got to is is a nice type of situation. So we're gonna read, we're gonna start with the pile of manga. Uh, the first thing that I have here is Princess Jellyfish. This is one that I've been meaning to read for forever in terms of series that I have not started yet. And I know that this has to do with a main character who's fascinated with jellyfish ends up in a situation where she is amongst other kind of like nerdy uh, nerdy other people um girl geeks is how it's described and then she meets a new character that is a fashionable woman so i'm excited for this one this one is kind of lengthy i am being ambitious because this is the bind up of the series so this one is coming in close to 400 pages which hello i mean i read crumbs last month which was close to 400 pages which was not the best reading experience it but that whatever that's not here nor there next i have dinosaur sanctuary which was a gift from steph at novelty corner so thank you so much steph uh i know i'm super super light with the birthday stuff y'all i have stuff for my birthday still sitting here and it's horrible but thank you so much to steph from novelty corner for for getting this for me um this is dinosaur sanctuary volume two so excited to pick this up. I read Dinosaur Sanctuary. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the note from Steph in there. I read Dinosaur Sanctuary Volume 1 a while ago and really enjoyed it, but I've been kind of pulling back on my spending this year, so this was not a priority pick for me in terms of acquisitions. I haven't really been buying a lot at all this year, but I'm excited to have this one because it ended, the first volume ends on such a cliffhanger. If you like Jurassic Park, I'm telling you, this is for all my dinosaur fans. You will absolutely love the series. Next I have Yakuza Fiance, which I read the first volume. How did I read the first volume? I think I read it on, um, was this on the K app? K manga app? I think it was on the K manga app. I feel like it was on the K manga app, if I'm not mistaken yeah i think this is yeah i think that's how i read it either way i read the first volume and i have not been a huge fan of uh yakuza manga it just hasn't worked for me i read uh except the yakuza's bias that one was <laughs> i love that one but like way the house has been yakuza lover I haven't really enjoyed those so it was nice to step into this one and relatively enjoy it they have a very interesting relationship um it's a little he's he's strange to me but for some reason this one actually worked for me so i am excited to pick up volume two y'all know i have to continue with oshinokoi uh oshinoko volume three this is actually overdue i need to return it to the library because i need to return it but i've been meaning to get to this one i haven't gotten to it yet love 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 the series it definitely starts off weird because it is an idol 
who um, is pregnant and the two kids that she ends up having it's a very interesting situation it's kind of like a reincarnation thing and so that first volume reads rather weird but I do think that when we get into the second volume we get like a darker feel to the series which makes the plot even more intriguing so I am excited to get to volume three which I will be getting to that probably in the vlog that will go up on Monday that will be covered in that vlog because I've got to read it. As y'all know I picked up volume eight of Nana um, for October. It was on my five by five by five. I did finish volume eight and I immediately wanted to jump into volume nine, but I couldn't justify doing it because of the fact that I had said that I needed to work through some more stuff that was on my October reading plans, which I'm glad I kind of stuck to that. But I thought as a treat to myself for finishing volume eight, I could go ahead and finish volume nine this month, which this is going to be an interesting read. This is chunky, y'all. This is chunky. This is one of the thicker volumes. And I'm not spoiling myself. This is a reread for me. Uh, this is when things get a little chaotic in the story. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is a little over 250 pages, but I enjoy me some Nana. So I'm looking forward to reading that. The next pile, I think I'm going to save that pile for last because there's a really, really big one in that one that is making me, it's going to make me a little ambitious. And I don't know if I can get through the whole thing in November, but I'm looking forward to um, getting to it. I am going to do, let's do the graphic novels next. The first one that I have is Buzzing. This is about a main character that has OCD and obsessive compulsive disorder and he is having a lot of um, trouble and he has this very strict therapy session that he does and so he ends up having these group of friends that invite him to start playing these role playing playing role playing games and he thinks that it um is helping his ocd because the intrusive thoughts are not as bad when he's playing role playing but his therapist then tells him like it actually can create more issues and so he doesn't believe that it will and then things kind of do spiral out of control i love a good um a good middle grade graphic novel and i'm digging the art in this one and i don't know if i've read a graphic novel yet or at least a middle grade graphic novel where the main character does have ocd so i'm gonna i'm interested in seeing how the representation is in this one the next one that i have is one that i've been meaning to read for forever it's picture day by sarah Sachs. this is about our main character who <laughs> i actually started reading a little bit of this she's tired of her hairstyle she wears a braid she's like i'm over it i'm tired of it so she cuts it and she cuts it like right before it's time for pictures so she becomes like this trendsetter at her school and all of the kids at the school are like oh we want you to help us like with our next big moment but then it's kind of like is this what I intended to do when I cut my hair like to be like an assistant to everybody or was I intending something else so like I said I have been meaning to pick this one up I'm not a huge fan of the art style in this one but we'll have to see how it works out the next one that I have is space boy I've been meaning to read this one for a long time y'all this is based on the web comic I believe and I have <laughs> I literally have been meaning to read this for forever. It is about a main character by the name of of Amy. Um, and Amy it works on a mining, she lives in a mining colony out in deep space. But things go wrong and her family has to return back to Earth. And so she's put, I forget what it's called, cryotube, that's what it is. She's put into a cryotube where she's going to remain frozen, suspended in time for 30 years while they travel back to Earth. And when she gets to Earth, of course, she has some trouble adjusting. And all she can think about is like her close friend in space that she had that essentially has grown up without her. So I can't imagine like being frozen in time. And then, you know, you're a teenager, but technically it's been 30 years. So you're not really a teenager, but you are a teen. It, I'm interested to see how this is going to work. This is definitely sci-fi. I'm interested to see how it's going to play with time. I think this is a high school coming of age type of story. I know that there are a lot of volumes attached to this, but this feels like this is going to be a relatively quick read. So if I like it, I definitely anticipate wanting to pick up 
more volume. So the next one I have is Clark and, Clark and Lex. This is one of these like DC uh, middle grade graphic novels that they've put out. And this is about, of course, Superman, Clark Kent and Lex Luthor who are at this summer camp where they are supposed to be competing against each other. It's a summer internship where they're supposed to be competing against each other and it's a, like a competition. And so things start going left where people start going missing and so the two of them have to figure out whether they need to work together or not. So I'm excited to see how this one is going to work out. The next thing that I have is a Curse Princess Club. I've been meaning to read this one for forever. I keep picking it up in vlogs but I never end up picking it up and so I'm excited to pick this one up. This is about a princess who's not a conventional princess. She lives in a castle. Her father is a king, I believe, but she's not con conventionally attractive and she doesn't have like the fairy tale princess expectations or lifestyle that everybody expects. And so she comes across the Cursed Princess Club, which shows her that you don't have to fit the mold um, to be considered a princess. So excited for that one. All right. And my last pile is my comics. I'm going to go through some next in the series that I plan on reading. You know, I read The Wicked and Divine Volume 1 in October. Part of my October reading plans, I ended up reading that. So I'm going to ease into picking up Volume 2. This is a reread for me. I'm excited to continue on the series. What can I say about this? I need to, I want to finish the rest of the series, but I'm just going to take it slow. I'm not going to pressure myself to, to do any of that. I'm also going to be picking up the next volume of Joker. You know, I read Joker volume one as a part of my October reading plans as well. And so I'm excited to dive into the next installment. This is stepping into some content that I actually have not read yet. And so I'm excited to see what we're going to get out of Tiny and in this specific volume. And then what I will do is if... Um, I feel inclined to, I will put volume three on hold of the library and read it, or I may just wait to next month. I'll have to see how I feel about that. And then I have been dying to read some more Wonder Woman. So I'm going to pick up, uh, Wonder Woman Rebirth volume one. This is by Greg Rutka. I believe I've read this before, if I'm not mistaken. This is when DC went through the process of kind of rebooting their line into the DC Rebirth. I've read the huge like the huge hardcover that they had for the DC Rebirth where it was like the one shot of all the characters but I just wanted to focus in on Wonder Woman because she's one of my favorite DC characters. I can't remember how I felt about this specific volume but I know the artwork. I love the art. It's so pretty to me. It's gorgeous. I love the artwork in this. And the last thing that I have, because I don't want this video to keep going on and on and on, is the big one that I don't think I'm going to get through in the month of November, but I think that there's potential for me to make a progress on it because I just need to. It's a lot of old series that I have just, I haven't finished. And so I am spending some time trying to slowly work my way through it. I think pacing myself is kind of the encouragement that I needed and so here we are. But it's Fables, Compendium, Compendium 1. I own Compendium 2 as well, but I refuse to buy Compendium, Compendium 3 or Compendium 4 until I do what I need to do with the first two of these because they're not like super expensive. Um, if you get them from other places, it's like $30, which is not expensive for a compendium, but still, like, you know, I, I don't want to just collect and not read. Now, granted, I have read most of the material out of here. Um, I don't think I've read all of it, but I've read a good portion of the material in here, but it's been so long since I've read Fables. It's a fairy tale retelling, if you don't know anything about Fables. And it's been a while since I read it, and I know that they continued. They picked up after, um, they, <laughs> they picked up, I think, was it issue, like, 150? I don't know. Either way, they continue with the series within, like, the past couple years or so, and so I do want to continue with it. I don't know if it's ended just yet, but I do want to continue with it and catch up on 
all the material that I've missed. But this is a this is a chunker, y'all. This is over easily over 1,100 pages. And while it may not seem like a lot because it's a, a, a comic series, mind you, it is rather text heavy in some places. Um, like in here, look at this stuff. It's kind of text heavy, so there's that. But I'm looking forward to finally picking this one up. I don't know if I will take that anywhere or maybe I just need to read that one at home, but we'll see. All right, y'all. So that is it. Those are my October reading plans. Let me know in the comment box down below what you plan. Not my October reading plans. It's my November reading plans. Let me know in the comment box down below what you plan on reading this month and how you did with your October reading. <laughs> As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. If you're looking for ways to follow me on social media, support the channels that I that I work so hard on, all of that stuff will be in the description down below and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.